Right then guys, welcome to Cannon Hall Farm. Farmer Daryl here again with another bit of uh, educational video for you. And this time we're gonna try and meet some of the oldest inhabitants here at Cannon Hall Farm. And I said try, uh, that's because they're fairly nifty, quite elusive, quite flighty, fast. Uh, very hard to catch. One of the hardest animals to catch on the farm actually. So follow me this way. Right then guys, so I can see them just down there now as i said they are quite elusive they don't they they move uh as a group they they're very nifty they probably won't let us get too close so i'm just pointing them out the little brown ones there are actually are so a sheep okay a really old native breed of sheep to the uk um we're going to get as close as we can basically right then guys so here we are we have got quite close to them which is unusual for the soe so the soe sheep uh, as you can see behind me, the little brown sheep, quite often when visitors come to the farm, they think they're goats. Uh, they're very small, they've got horns, and that seems to be the thing that people think they're goats. But they're actually sheep, and they're one of the oldest uh, breeds of sheep here on uh, the British Isles, and they're thought to have been left here uh, by early settlers. Now, they were found on the island of St Kilda, uh, up uh, on the outskirts of Scotland, and that was the only place uh, you could get them at one time, but they're now a bit more widespread, and we have got a decent flock of them here at Cannon Hall Farm. Now, Soe uh, actually means Sheep Island in Norse, so it's thought that they're connected to the Vikings. Maybe early Viking settlers left the sheep uh, on the British Isles. Now, uh, apart from being connected to the Vikings, we've also got somebody else here at the farm connected to Vikings. That's right, Farmer David, DNA tested uh, to be part of Viking. So here's some of his uh, country folk. One of the main reasons they look so different, where they come from, the island of St Kilda, is quite a barren, bleak uh, bit of, a, a bit of uh, country. Uh, it's uh, surrounded by sea, of course, being a small island. Uh, so they're very hardy, they, they're used to all conditions. Uh, they normally lamb on themselves as well, so they pretty much look after themselves. They're good foragers as well. They've learned to forage in all weathers, but importantly, they've learned to forage off seaweed washed as, uh, ashore. So. Uh, sheep quite intelligent animals and the soe one of the most intelligent of the breeds we have about 12 different breeds of sheep here at the farm by the way and uh, these are one of the rarer ones and the smallest of the ones we keep here at the farm they are inching a bit closer as well so you should be able to get a fairly good uh, view of them Now the good thing about the soe as well, and most of you farm fans will be uh, well acquainted with Farmer David, and as you know, Farmer David does all the shearing here at Cannon Hall Farm. Uh, the good news for Farmer David is these little fellas tend to drop their wool on their own, so they don't really need shearing, it's just a natural process uh, for the soe sheep. Right then guys, so thanks for joining us here on Cannon Hall Farm TV. Again, another educational video with me, Farmer Daryl. There's plenty more to come over the next few weeks, by the way. But before we go, uh, three questions as always. I'd like you to do a bit of homework. Firstly, uh, what part of the British Isles uh, were the Soe sheep originally found on? The second question to you is, uh, in the Norse language, what does Soe mean? And third and finally, what sort of a treat would the soys be fine nibbling on up on the island of St Kilda? Now don't forget to like and share if you've enjoyed uh, what you've seen today and of course send us some lovely pictures of our diminutive little soy sheep. See you all again soon guys.